HMS Hydra launched in 1797 was a fifth-rate frigate of the Royal Navy, armed with a main battery of 28 18-pounder guns. She was built to the design of the captured French frigate Melpomene. Hydra was commissioned in April 1797 under Captain Sir Francis Lafory. At the action of May 30, 1798, Hydra, in company with the bomb vessel HMS Vesuvius and the cutter HMS Trial, ran aground the French corvette Confiant, which was destroyed. The Corvette Vesuve and an unnamed cutter also ran ashore, but the British were not able to destroy them. Hydra was anchored at the Nere on Sunday, May 17, 1801. Under the command of Captain George Mundy, for eight years from October 1802 to September 1810, she had an active career in the Napoleonic Wars, including the blockade of Cadiz. On June 24, 1803 Hydra and His Majesty's hired armed cutter Rose captured the French privateer Phoebe. Phoebe, of four guns, two swivel guns, and 33 men, had left Cherbourg some seven days earlier. The gun brig HMS Starling recaptured the brigs William, of Sunderland, and Diana, of London, and their cargoes. She also recaptured Egyptian, of Waterford, which had been sailing in ballast. Phoebe had captured them before she herself was captured. Hydra and Starling arrived at Portsmouth on 29th of June. A print representing the French gun vessels captured January 11, 1804, by Tribune and Hydra and brought to Portsmouth on January 30, 1804, Hydra and Tribune. Operating independently, encountered a French flotilla of 20 vessels off Cape La Hogue and captured three gun brigs and a lugger. The gun brigs were of 100 tons burthen and new, having been launched only 10 days earlier and having been rigged while still in the stocks. They had troops aboard that had embarked the day after the launch. The vessels were from Saint Malo, sailing to Cherbourg. Hydra captured Brig No. 51 and Lugger No. 411. The brig was armed with three 24 pounder guns and was under the command of a Lieutenant de Vaisseau. She had 50 men aboard, a lieutenant and 26 of whom were from the 32nd Regiment of the Line. The Lugger was armed with one 18 pounder and had 36 men aboard. A lieutenant and 26 of whom were soldiers from the same regiment. Fortune captured Briggs No. 43 and No. 47. These Briggs too had three guns each, one 18 and two 24 pounders. No. 43 had 50 men aboard and No. 47 had 60. The reports of the number of men captured are contradictory. Still, both Briggs were carrying troops from the same 32nd regiment. Before capturing the two Briggs, Tribune had destroyed a large boat. Captain Bennett of Tribune further reported that he had seen a frigate, which he believed was Hydra, capture a lugger and continue in pursuit of a brig. Hydra and Tribune shared the proceeds of the prize money and the head money for Briggs Nose. 43, 47, and 51, and the lugger No. 411. However, because the two British vessels were there in different capacities, Hydra being part of a squadron under Admiral Sir James Salmeres, commander of Royal Navy forces in the Channel Islands and Tribune reporting directly to Admiral George Montague, Commander-in-Chief, Portsmouth, the division of the captain's shares of the prize money was complex. Hydra shared with Phoebe in the proceeds from the capture between 9 and November 15, 1804 of the vessels Paulina and Sesestris. After Admiral Lord Nelson defeated the Franco-Spanish fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar on October 21, 1805, four French frigates and the Brig Foray took refuge at Cadiz, where they remained into February 1806. To try to lure them out, Vice Admiral Cuthbert Collingwood pulled his ships of the line ten leagues out to sea, leaving only Hydra, under Captain George Mundy, and the brig Sloop Moselle in close blockade. On 23rd of February a strong easterly wind drove the British off their station, which led the French commander, Captain Louis-Charles Auguste Delamar de la Mellery, to seize the opportunity to escape. On the evening of 26th of February Hydra and Moselle were three leagues west of the Cadiz Lighthouse when they sighted the French vessels. Mundy began firing rockets and alarm guns to alert Collingwood, while sailing parallel to the escaping French squadron. Mundy then sent Cardin and Moselle to try to locate the British fleet. On the morning of 27th of February Moselle reached Collingwood, who dispatched three frigates to try to catch the French. In the meantime, Hydra had managed to isolate the French brig from her companions, and after a two-hour chase, captured Foray. The French frigates did not come to their brig's aid, and after firing a pro forma broadside, Foray surrendered. Foray was armed with 18 long 9-pounder guns, and had a crew of 130 men under the command of Lieutenant de Vaisseau Deme. 
she was provisioned for a cruise of five months. Under the rules of prize money, Moselle shared in the proceeds of the capture of Furé. During the next six months, Lamellery's frigate squadron cruised the Atlantic, visiting Senegal, Cayenne and the West Indies, but failed significantly to disrupt British trade. Capture of the fort and vessels in the harbour of Begu, by HMS Hydra, Captain. Gmundi August 7, 1807 Hydra took part in the Peninsular War in 1807, including the bombardment of the defences of the Catalan port of Bigur on August 7, 1807. She was then out of commission for nearly three years. During a refit at Portsmouth in 1813, Hydra was fitted as a troop ship and recommissioned in July 1813 under Captain Joseph Digby. From then until finally paying off in 1817 she was employed as a troop ship and, in that capacity, for example, Captain Robert Lawson's company, 8th Battalion Royal Artillery, left Spain on July 22, 1814, on board HMS Hydra, bound for Plymouth. Under the rules of prize money, the troop ship Hydra shared in the proceeds of the capture of six American vessels in the Battle of Lake Borneo on December 14, 1814. Hydra was sold in 1820. Notes Citations References Thanks for watching.